Hi everyone and welcome to another Tone2 Pro video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to stream BitPerfect DSD audio to your Tone2 Pro using the ASIO driver. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the world of high resolution audio files, I'm going to talk a little bit about DSD. So DSD stands for Direct Stream Digital, and it's a trademark used by Sony and Philips for their system of digitally recreating audible signals for the Super Audio CD format, or SACD. There are three types of DSD files, DSD512, DSD256, DSD128, and DSD64. Okay, four types. Uh, of DSD, common DSD files. All right, so what is DSD and why should we care about it? Well, as someone who just purchased a 200 US dollar Tone2 Pro, you're gonna want to get the most out of your hi-fi or high fidelity digital to analog converter. And that means getting as accurate and as high resolution uh, sampled audio file as possible to be played through your Tone2 Pro so that the audio experience, the music experience is going to be really vivid. It's going to be lifelike with all the spatialization, with all the emotions in the singer's voice and the instruments all captured within that audio file. And for those of you who know what DSD is, you'll also know, agree with me that standard file formats like MP3 and you know AAC, these files are too small and too compressed to contain the data necessary to generate that realistic sound feel that only DSD can provide. Okay, so let's look at the highest resolution DSD file that is DSD512. So why is it called 512 for those of us who are new? 512 means that it's 512 times higher resolution than a standard compact disc or CD, which back in the day uh, had the audio standard of 48 kilohertz. So 48 kilohertz means that this digital format samples the analog information 48,000 times a second. But DSD 512 is 512 times the audio standard of 48 kilohertz, which means it's 24.576 megahertz. Translated that into uh, hertz, that's 24,576,000 samples per second. All right, so this is pretty amazing. It's actually a file format that is beyond the CD quality, better than what you could get even on a compact disc. So we're not even talking about MP3s here. MP3s here are, are nothing, right? They're so far down that, that DSD is so far up that the difference is going to be night and day if you've never heard a DSD file before. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can replicate what I'm doing right now to download some free DSD files from the internet and have a listen on your own Tone2 Pro at home and hear the difference and experience what high resolution audio is capable of, okay? So on the wiki here, it already gives us a clue and it says that we need to find a special kind of software such as J River Media Center or FUBAR 2000 with the SACD plugin uh, to play DSD files, okay? So I'll show you my DSD files over here. These are, uh, these are free DSD files which are downloaded from the internet. And as you can see, these files are huge. So this file over here, the DSD512, is two gigabytes in size, and it's only a six minute long sound file. Okay, this other DSD256 is one gigabyte, and the smallest and probably shortest in duration is this DSD256 file, which is 270 megabytes. So now you may be wondering, okay, I'm at home. Uh, this is my first time experiencing high-res audio. Where do I find, where do I download these gigantic DSD files so that I can experience what the Tone2 really is capable of? 
So there's this website over here. I'm going to show you 2l.no slash high res slash index.html. And I will leave it in the YouTube video description. Now this website contains a benchmark high resolution uh, samples that you can download for free. Okay, so all these are classical music tracks and boy should you try them out, you will not be disappointed. So here's the Stereo DSD256 which is one of, uh, one of the best formats provided here. Uh, but the better one is 512 but I don't see a 512 track on this website. But anyway, if you're coming from an MP3 or if you've never heard a high-res track before, downloading the Stereo DSD256 is gonna blow you away. Okay, in addition to free music, if you know you, you're willing to pay some money, you can go to nativedsd.com and they've got a catalog over here of all kinds of DSD music. But as you can see, uh, you have to pay for them. But they do have DSD 512 and you can download these for your own listening pleasure. But for copyright reasons, I can't let you hear any of these paid DSD tracks on this YouTube video, okay? So uh, we're gonna have to install the software now and I'm gonna walk you through the installation of FUBAR 2000, which is a free software that helps you to play DSD files and send them directly to your Tone2 Pro in a bit perfect way so you get the perfect audio clarity coming out through your headphones and so you won't be disappointed, all right? I've included the download link here, which is a compilation of all the files that you're going to need. So these are all the files you're going to need to install FUBAR uh, 2000. The original installer over here, the FUOUTASIO component, this is for the driver, because you see here your Kata's uh, Tone2 Pro uses the ASIO driver over here. And then you need this SACD decoder over here to decode these DSD files because as you can see, Windows doesn't know what they are. Okay, so Windows can play MP3, WPA by default, but DSD, no, you need a special software for this and Windows doesn't know what they are. And then you need to install the ASIO proxy uh, driver that links uh, FUBAR 2000 to your Tone2 Pro, okay? And the Kata's audio dashboard, this is very important. This is gonna help you to see what mode your Tone2 Pro is in. Is it in PCM mode or is it in DSD? All right, and this is very important. Why? Because PCM is the regular old resolution, which as you can see here is 44.1 kilohertz or 44,100 hertz. Um, and this is nowhere near DSD. So we, we're gonna have to install the software and then we're gonna tell the driver, okay, I wanna supercharge you, I wanna turbocharge you to DSD level kind of music resolution. You know, we don't want 44.1, we don't want 48 kilohertz, we want like 28 megahertz kind of, kind of resolution. So the first step of course, is you download it from this link over here, which I've provided in the YouTube video description. And then the first file you wanna open is this one. standard installation okay just install it okay run it so after you run it it will be like this blank empty it's a uh, it's a very simple free software so don't expect too much okay and then we're going to click library configure components and then you're going to click install and you're going to install these two components Click apply and it needs to be restarted. So this is like a true blue Windows software that needs to be rebooted each time you do something. Okay, now that we've installed these uh, two components and FUBAR 2000, you wanna install the ASIO proxy driver here. Okay, just everything by default. Next, install, close. Okay, we're done. So we can close the installation folder over here and divert our attention to FUBAR 2000, okay? So click library, click configure. Uh, let's go to components so you can see I've got ASIO support 2.1.2, Super Audio CD decoder 0.7.3. Okay, click playback, uh, click output. 
change the default primary sound driver to the ASIO foo underscore DSD underscore ASIO. Alright, uh, let's see. Double click output, go to ASIO. Double click this, check that your settings are the same as mine. The cutter's tone board is uh, tone 2 is plugged into your PC. Native decoding, none, none, zero milliseconds, DSD512, close that. And then, what you're going to make sure is you've got to make sure it's 64-bit and run with high process priority. Okay, next go to Tools, SACD, change PCM to DSD, this is very important, and then click Apply. Click Yes, and Fubar 2000 will restart. Let's check all the settings again, Library, Configure, Components, Output, full DSD ASIO, ASIO 64-bit, run with high process priority, SACD, DSD. Okay, we're all set. So now that you've downloaded the DSD files from the internet, simply drag them into FUBAR 2000. Right-click on columns and you can add things like codec. You can see the bit rate. Mm, let's see, what else do we want? You can even see the file extension, DSF or DFF. DFF is a file extension for DSD 512 files and DSF is for DSD 256. Okay. So if you notice in the configuration settings here, there's DSD and PCM modes. PCM would be the regular 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz resolution and DSD, as I say again, will supercharge your resolution to higher than CD quality. Okay, uh, 256 times higher or 512 times higher higher than a regular old CD. So this is going to be amazing. But of course, on YouTube, when I'm recording this through my camera, it's a line-in on my Sony camera. Uh, you, you're not going to hear a bit perfect audio because the camera is going to compress the audio stream. So for you to get the full experience, you're going to take this video and do it at home by yourself. And you're going to experience high resolution audio at home on your Tone 2 Pro on your own PC. And it's going to be incredible. Okay. So now we click OK and we put on our headphones. I'm just using the 3.5 millimeter output from my Tone 2 Pro. And uh, before you play any DSD files, ensure that your Tone 2 Pro is muted or at least set to the low volume just in case the DSD file is really loud. So I'm going to play my favorite song. Okay, adjust the volume to a comfortable level. You notice that the sample rate now is 11 million hertz. And ASIO active, it says DSD mode. So now we know it's DSD bit perfect playback, guys. Okay, I'm going to explain a little bit more. You'll notice that in bit perfect mode, if you try to adjust the volume on your PC, it's not going to make a difference, okay? And the reason for this is because the digital data stream is going straight from your PC 
into the Tone 2 Pro. It's bypassing your computer's sound card. So we look at what I'm using to record my screen, which is OBS Studio. Desktop audio is muted, and you only hear me talking on the mic aux. It's incredible. There's no distortion. The noise floor is is black. There's no noise. It's crystal clear. It's like looking through. It's looking through a crystal glass. so clear. There's no distortion. You can hear the singers in every note. It's just incredible, guys. And I'm not even using audio file headphones. These are a pair of, uh, well, they call it high-res audio headphones, but they're not too expensive. I bought them in China. But they do the job, and it's, it's, it's amazing. This with the Tone 2 Pro with DSD decoding. And I know some people would say, uh, PCM is good enough, but you know what? You know what? I'll show you this. So, a 2014 study conducted at the Tokyo University of the Arts found that listeners could distinguish between PCM and DSD. Okay? So, DSD is much much better than PCM. If you've never heard a DSD file before, go to this website, download a free file, download all of the files, all right, or pay some money and get some some proper paid files with FUBAR 2000 and have a listen because this is absolutely incredible. The experience is night and day, like nothing you've ever heard before and if you have a Tone 2 Pro, you owe it to yourself to listen to high-res DSD soundtracks. Alright, so thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed listening to DSD high-res audio as much as I have and it's clearly made an impact on my life and it will make an impact in your life. See you next time.